，斥资一百八十万打造的自行车能跑得过法拉利吗？发射枪一响，自行车喷出一团白雾。当这辆汽车的名字叫做 h u m r i d e 重量达到了可怕的三点八五，主要重在了变形器上，因为它搭配了四个摄像头。Welcome to Tech New Tip. Discover the power of progress. Here, we celebrate the extraordinary world of technology and innovation. From groundbreaking machines to futuristic advancements, our channel takes you on a journey to explore the tools and ideas shaping tomorrow. Whether it's engineering marvels, cutting-edge science, or the latest breakthroughs, Tech New Tip is your guide to discovering the power of progress. Subscribe and join us as we unlock the wonders of technology and push the boundaries of what's possible. 一辆车发现自己在一条拥挤的公路上，大多数驾驶者会在车上等待。这辆车有一个不一样的计划。With the press of a mysterious button inside the car, the transformation begins. The vehicle's chassis starts to rise as the speed of the vehicle increases. Its left wheels extend outward, and the wheels extend outward. The vehicle's chassis starts to rise as the speed of the vehicle increases. Its left wheels extend outward, and within seconds, the car is elevated 1.5 meters off the ground, with a wheel span of 2.5 meters wide. Before you even process what's happening, the car effortlessly climbs over the vehicles ahead. This jaw-dropping maneuver leaves pedestrians on the side of the road utterly stunned. This incredible vehicle is called the Home Rider. Weighing a staggering 3.85 tons, its unique transformation system is powered by advanced hydraulics, allowing the landing gear to lift and lower the car with ease. And don't worry about visibility when the car is elevated. It's equipped with four cameras that provide a full view of the surroundings, ensuring safe driving. Once it reaches the front of the traffic jam, the home rider simply transforms back to its original shape and drives off as if nothing happened. But here's the catch: this car isn't something you'll see on the market. It's a one-of-a-kind promotional vehicle created by an American telecom company in partnership with Jeep to showcase their in-car technology. The dramatic overtaking scene—it was all carefully rehearsed for the video. In real life, traffic jams aren't neatly arranged for you to glide over. Even though this extraordinary machine may never become a reality, it still leaves us in awe of what's possible with imagination and engineering. A dream on wheels, if only for a moment. What do you do with dirty and worn-out plastic seats? Don't worry. Just grab a flamethrower, aim it at the seat, and give it a quick blast. Instantly, it'll look shiny and new, so inviting that you'll want to sit on it right away. But wait, what kind of sorcery is this? This flame makeover works wonders not just for seats. But also for things like car bumpers, once scuffed or dulled, a quick flame treatment can bring them back to life. The magic lies in the material, thermoplastic, also known as heat conductive plastic. This type of plastic softens under high heat, becoming malleable like a liquid, and hardens back into a solid state once cooled. Because this process can be repeated endlessly, it's called thermoplastic. Its counterpart, thermoset plastic, can't do this. The science is straightforward. When you apply flame, it introduces oxygen to the surface molecules, triggering an oxidation reaction. This smooths out the surface, restores the original color of the plastic, and creates an even glossy finish. In short, it looks as good as new. But here's a challenge for you. Imagine a stadium with 10,000 seats. If it cost one dollar to restore each seat, how long would it take you to finish the job? 
It's worth mentioning that thermoplastic isn't just used in seats and bumpers. It's also found in items like suitcase shells. In manufacturing, thermoplastic sheets are heated in vacuum-forming machines. Once softened, the sheets are blown into shape, molded, and cooled to create a suitcase's outer layer. Now here's an interesting question. If a thermoplastic suitcase ages and deteriorates over time, could we also restore it using flames? Maybe it's time to put that theory to the test. After several precise turns and careful angle adjustments, the aircraft finally finds the perfect descent trajectory. In no time, it touches down on the carrier's deck, skimming the runway before being abruptly stopped by a thin cable. Within moments, the plane comes to a complete halt, all thanks to this seemingly simple wire, valued at an astonishing $1.5 million. But what makes this slender cable so extraordinary? Known as the arresting cable, it plays a critical role in safely halting high-speed aircraft. Typically, planes require a glide distance of 300 to 1,000 kilometers to land, but the limited deck space of an aircraft carrier makes this impossible. That's where the arresting cable comes in to save the day. Each arresting cable is a marvel of engineering, composed of six tightly wound steel cables. Each steel cable in turn consists of 12 main strands, 12 medium-sized strands, and six smaller strands arranged in a triangular formation. The manufacturing process is meticulous, ensuring that only the highest grade steel is used to guarantee safety for both the pilots and the aircraft. Aircraft carriers are equipped with three to four arresting cables, or sometimes even more. These cables can withstand forces exceeding 1,500 megapascals, equivalent to more than 15 tons of force. When a plane lands, a hook attached to its tail snags one of these cables. If the first cable isn't enough to stop the aircraft, the hook will catch the next one, or even the one after that. Below the carrier's deck lies a massive hydraulic arresting system. This system, connected to the cables via pulleys and dampers, absorbs the aircraft's kinetic energy. The greater the force exerted by the aircraft, the more power the damper applies, ensuring the plane comes to a smooth stop on the limited runway space. However, not all carrier-based aircraft rely on this method. The F-35B Lightning II, a game-changing fighter jet, can land vertically, bypassing the need for arresting cables entirely. If you're curious about this incredible jet, check out our previous videos for an in-depth exploration. Take a closer look. This futuristic marvel is not a sci-fi prop, but a groundbreaking private submarine called Trident. Designed to take you to depths of 1,000 meters, it opens the door to a whole new underwater world waiting to be explored. For most of us, opportunities to dive into the mysteries of the deep sea are rare. Even professional divers are typically limited to depths of around 10 meters. That's why a German tech company introduced an innovative underwater device capable of reaching 40 meters. With its sleek hydrodynamic design, this gadget allows users to steer using their body weight, achieving speeds of up to 16 kilometers per hour. Imagine gliding through the water and dancing alongside dolphins. However, when it comes to venturing into the deeper realms of the ocean, the Triton 3300-3 takes the spotlight. This incredible submarine features a spherical cockpit at its center, accommodating one pilot and two passengers. Capable of descending to a staggering 1,000 meters, it offers an unparalleled view of the underwater world through its 360-degree pressure-resistant cabin. Not only can you marvel at the vibrant marine life up close, but you can also capture jaw-dropping photos and videos to share on social media. What's even more remarkable is the cabin's ability to maintain surface-level pressure throughout the dive, ensuring maximum comfort no matter how deep you go. Plus, operating the Triton is surprisingly simple, thanks to its intuitive digital controls and touchscreen interface. So, are you ready to dive into the deep blue and experience the wonders of the ocean like never before?
ocean. What's that flying in the sky? At first glance, it may look like a giant airborne cross, but it's actually a futuristic drone invented by Martin UAV, a US-based company. This innovative flying machine isn't just unique in appearance, it's also incredibly versatile. Capable of vertical takeoff, hovering, and switching seamlessly to horizontal flight, it's like nothing we've seen before. And speaking of unusual flying designs, have you ever seen the black circular flying disc? Another recent international invention, this manned aircraft positions its cockpit on the back of the disc. To fly it, pilots must lay flat inside with only their heads sticking out. While it's capable of vertical takeoff as well, its endurance is underwhelming, lasting less than 20 minutes in the air. So what about this cross-shaped drone? What's its purpose? According to its designer, the primary function is professional aerial photography. But here's the big question. Why use such a large and unconventional design when smaller, more portable drones can also handle professional filming with ease? Here's the answer. The Flying Cross drone is built for power and endurance. Measuring 2.4 meters long and 2.6 meters tall, it's equipped with an advanced gasoline engine, giving it several times the power of traditional drones. This enables it to reach horizontal flight speeds of up to 83 kilometers per hour and stay airborne for an impressive eight hours. With an 11 kilogram payload capacity, it can carry multiple cameras and even additional equipment like radar. The radar feature isn't just for show. It ensures that even in the event of an accident, the drone can be precisely located using radar signals. Ever wondered how construction workers achieve such precision and speed? Look at this clever device in action. Freshly mixed concrete is poured directly into the machine, and as you pull it forward, it neatly spreads a uniform layer of concrete on the ground. Clean, precise, and efficient. But how does it work? Achieving this level of precision manually would require years of skill and practice. For instance, tasks like plastering walls take a seasoned hand. However, to save time and ensure consistency, engineers have developed specialized tools like the Wall Plastering Wizard. This ingenious gadget features a large, spinning yellow disc that evenly spreads plaster over walls as you guide it along. Within moments, the entire wall is perfectly coated. But plastering isn't the only challenge. Applying cement while bricklaying is another demanding task. Apply too little, and the bricks won't hold too much, and you'll waste material. That's where the cement spreading machine comes to the rescue. Shaped like a pasta press, this nifty tool is equipped with four wheels for mobility and two gears on the side. One gear adjusts the height of the cement spreader opening, while the other controls the flow. In just 10 seconds, you can cover a meter's length with an even layer of cement. When you're done with the wall, simply turn off the flow with a twist of the gear. This tool not only ensures the bricks are perfectly aligned, but also drastically reduces the amount of cement wasted. With such innovative devices, construction work is becoming faster, cleaner, and more precise than ever before. Isn't it amazing? Building. Imagine a series of rotating disks placed strategically in a river. As the water flows, these disks begin to spin, effortlessly collecting floating trash along the surface. Despite the wide gaps between the disks, any debris that drifts too close to them doesn't stand a chance. It's all thanks to a clever design that ensures no trash escapes. Why is this innovation so important? Over the past few years, Floating trash in rivers and oceans has become a massive environmental issue. The impact is growing more severe, and as a result, people have been coming up with creative solutions to tackle this problem. For instance, we've already discussed the sea bin, a floating trash bin in the ocean that uses water pumps to create a water level difference, automatically funneling floating debris into the bin. In just one to two days, it can collect a significant amount of trash making it an incredibly convenient solution. 
However, this approach doesn't work well in fast-moving rivers. That's where the revolutionary river cleaning discs come in. Created by an Italian company called River Planning, these discs are designed specifically for cleaning floating waste in rivers. The discs are anchored underwater using cables or steel ropes. As the water flows, the discs spin continuously. When plastic bottles and other debris approach, the rotating gears push them toward the next disc, ultimately gathering the trash along the riverbank. But the innovation doesn't stop there. By adding sponges and pumps inside the discs, they can also help clean up oil spills, making them more versatile. The spinning discs generate electricity, which can power sorting machines on the riverbank or even the disc's own systems, such as GPS and motors. Thanks to GPS, the discs can detect nearby boats and automatically shift aside to allow them to pass through. Once the boat has passed, the discs close back up, ensuring continuous operation without obstruction. This system doesn't just clean rivers more effectively, but it does so sustainably, using the natural energy of the water. It's an eco-friendly, innovative solution to a pressing environmental issue. Could this be the future of waterway cleanup? We certainly think so. The $180,000 rocket bike, faster than a Ferrari, ready, set, go. As the race begins, a plume of white vapor bursts from the bike, and in the blink of an eye, the Ferrari is left eating dust. The driver behind the wheel of the world-class supercar stares in disbelief as the rocket-powered bicycle leaves it in the dust, disappearing into the distance. When the race ends, the bike's speedometer reveals something jaw-dropping. It hit a top speed of 333 kilometers per hour, 207 miles per hour. What kind of sorcery is powering this two-wheeled beast? A million-dollar marvel. This isn't your average bike. With a staggering production cost of $180,000, this custom creation is a masterpiece of engineering. The bike's frame is expertly welded steel. Its front fork is a nod to classic history, and its rear wheel is borrowed straight from a small race car. But the real star is hidden under the seat, a miniature rocket engine. Unlike conventional rocket engines that use high temperature fuels, this bike relies on high concentration hydrogen peroxide for safety reasons. When hydrogen peroxide reacts with a catalyst, it rapidly decomposes into oxygen and water vapor, producing an immense amount of thrust. That vapor you see shooting out the back, that superheated water traveling at 1,000 meters per second. This insane propulsion system is why the bike can go from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in under one second and reach 333 kilometers per hour in just 4.7 seconds. According to the brave soul who piloted this rocket bike, it feels like being launched into orbit. The sheer acceleration is unlike anything on Earth. Would you dare to take this rocket bike for a spin knowing it could outrun a Ferrari? Share your thoughts. Are you ready to strap in and blast off?